Only five weeks since the official opening of the new Heinz factory at Kit Green, and once again it's a gala occasion, with hundreds of Heinz employees from Kit Green and Standish lining the road to welcome a very important visitor. They feel with pride that it's a measure of the importance of their new factory that so soon after the opening by the Lord Chancellor, they are being honored with a visit by one of the best loved of all public figures, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Lord Derby presents Mr. H.J. Hines, second, the chairman of the company, to Her Majesty. And he, in turn, presents Mrs. Hines. The Queen Mother greets Lady Derby. Only an hour to see over the largest food processing plant in her daughter's Commonwealth. But the Queen Mother has a gift of crowding a tremendous amount into her official visits, and yet always being relaxed, informal, and above all, interested in people. One quality endears her to the women she meets in particular. Though she has always lived in great households, they sense at once that she is herself a capable housewife and mother, who genuinely understands everyday domestic problems and could run a home of any size. After showing the Queen Mother a display of raw materials specially arranged for her visit, factory manager Mr. L. E. Sullivan explains the various processes to Her Majesty. He and Mr. Hines find that her questions are always pertinent. Passing the camera now, Mr. F. G. Crabb, Managing Director. The party moves on to inspect the soup production line. mother has a word with one of the methods engineers, Mr. Arnold Hilton. The baby food filling machine, which by the way, is one of the fastest filling lines in Britain. The 24 kinds of baby food collectively form number 57 of the famous 57 varieties. For though in deference to a proud tradition, the magic number is always maintained, many of the 57 have long ago been subdivided and there are actually more like 200 different Heinz products. Director of Manufacturing, Mr. Anthony Beresford, escorts Lady Derby and Mrs. Heinz. Next stopping place is the bean filling line. Heinz baked beans are very popular, variety number one, for they are far and away the most popular. And the bean lines work on the same product all the year round, half a million cans a day. Here again, the Queen Mother pauses for a word with the operators. Everybody wants to see the royal visitor, and the tour is organized so that everyone gets a chance. Among this group, some Heinz directors, Mr. Eccles, purchasing, Mr. Hutchinson, assistant managing director, company secretary, Mr. Esselmont, Mr. Harris, Engineering. And Susan Leather, Kit Green's youngest worker. Susan's big moment is just coming up. The Queen Mother has just been inspecting the canteen kitchens, an addition to the program at her own request. And now, 15-year-old Susan walks forward to present her bouquet. She does it so charmingly that the onlookers break into spontaneous applause. The Queen Mother, always a success with young people because she talks with them and not down to them, stays for quite a time chatting to the youngest worker of a young factory, while Lord Derby looks benevolently on. Mr. Hines escorts the Queen Mother to her car to drive to the far side of the plant where she is to visit the can-making factory.
more of the factory's employees get their chance to see Her Majesty as she drives round the production building. Incidentally, past the longest glass curtain wall in England, 1,080 feet of it. On past the boiler plant, which keeps the whole of this vast factory supplied with steam. And now, the can-making plant. It's rather a noisy place, so Mr. Sullivan does some explaining before they enter. In the background is Mr. Geoffrey Phillips, editor of 57 News. The Queen Mother meets Mr. Teddy Ball of the Building Maintenance Department. The can-making plant was the last item on the royal program, and now it's time for the Queen Mother to say goodbye. In just under an hour, Her Majesty has asked a great many questions and talked to a great many people, and her summing up of her visit is the best compliment she could have paid to any new enterprise, large or small. For she tells Mr. Sullivan that what has impressed her most is that everyone looks so happy. Farewell handshake for Mrs. Hines. This is not only a great day for Hines employees, it's an occasion for Lancashire, because the new factory is already playing an important and growing part in the life of the County Palatine as a whole, and Wigan and the Ormskirk Plain in particular. The county is represented today by Sir Robert Adcock, Clerk of the County Council. Certainly a memorable hour in every way. For the whole factory, an honor which adds to the pride of a new and remarkable achievement. And for the many individuals who met the Queen Mother personally, a lifelong memory of a considerate and charming personality who was interested, genuinely interested in them and in the jobs they do.